everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at Winnebago's top of the line Class A gas motorhome, newly redesigned for its 30th anniversary. This is the 2023 Winnebago Adventurer Model 35F, bath and a half. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the adventure and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the new and improved Winnebago Adventure. It looks very beautiful. I love the paint job. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good, Matt. I'm excited to look at another Winnebago. Yes! Is the Adventure top of the line? Does it compete with like the Bounders? Yes it does, okay. yes it does. Well, hold on everybody. Here's another great choice for people to shop their selection. Let's begin. Model is Adventure 35F. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 35 feet 10 inches. This is the Winnebago Adventurer. It is their top of the line Class A gas motorhome. And there's a lot of different differences on the exterior and interior. First and foremost being the headlight design. I actually think it looks cool. I think it looks good. Better than what it used to. I like this chrome right here. You got chrome up front there. Nice big windshield. The Winnebago symbol up there also you have like this little winnebago decals in the corner of the windows there i like how it's kind of boxed and squared off but it still looks mean and aggressive really really nice this does sit on the ford f53 chassis which means it has a 7.3 liter v8 it is the godzilla engine and then look at these tires and they're the michelins 235-80 r 22.5 with shiny Alcoa rims. If you take a step back, you're gonna see that we do have side cameras on both sides, left side, right side, and reverse. Chrome mirrors on both sides and frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. And right here is a doggy window. Now, if you take a step back, you're gonna see this has a beautiful full body paint job. And I love what they're doing with the side there with uh, the kind of, um, what would you call that? It's some kind of print. I don't know. It, it looks really, really good. Full body paint looks absolutely fantastic. Nice power awning with LED lights. Now, I always forget to mention this with Winnebago. Uh, Winnebago actually uses Asdell, which is a composite for their fiberglass, and it won't delaminate on you. And they don't put a sticker there, which means I always forget to say it. Right here, we have a nice, big screen television. Insignia sound system and speakers right there. And then look at this, new for 2023, they brought back the aluminum slam latch nice. doors for the Winnebago Adventurer. And then they got a little place to leash up your furry friends. Right here's our water heater. That Very looks nice. great. Right here's your refrigerator access. And then right here's propane. And then here, bing! Jen, please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who's watching on television. Coming on down. We got more storage right here. I love these doors. They just feel it's built about extremely time. well. Right here we got some more storage. Really pretty blue too. Yes ma'am. And then here is your O-Man 5500 generator. Coming around the back, Andrea. We do have a nice fiberglass rear cap. Look at what they're doing here with the accent pieces here, the nice trim, really good looking tail lights. This is a beautiful looking motorhome from all angles. You do have a backup camera there. 5,000 pound hitch. You can tell 5,000 pounds. And then right here, Andrea, is a nice ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Hope you stretch this morning. Here we go now. Hold on. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece, fully walkable fiberglass roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. Right here, we got solar on the roof, wine guard digital antenna, Wi-Fi Ranger, and then you can see here your Max Air fans already installed on the roof. Two steps. Right. Last step. Great 
sweet. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking this fat ass up on the roof? Showing you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. No, ma'am. Finishing up. Right here behind lock and keys, your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Oh, this is This nice. is a wet bay. Wow. America, this is a wet bay. Wow. Fantastic look. Okay. I like how clean and simple it is. Oh, right. And then over here, Andrea, this is where you fill up your fuel. Very nice. And then here's your 50 amp power cord, black mm -hmm. tank flush. Womp womp. It's not on an electric reel. We will talk about that a little bit later on in the show, Andrea. Watch your step there. Finishing up the other side of the storage right here. Oh, man. Ooh, battery bank. Napa know-how. Gosh, Matt, how long has it been since you've said that? Yeah, I like the <laughs> Napas. Very nice Napa batteries. Storage here. Okay. And then a little bit more storage here. Right. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks beautiful, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, everybody, hold on. Notice the uh, 30th did. anniversary edition. Cargo carrying capacity, 2,346 pounds. That's pretty good. All right. Feels good in here. It does. Thank you for that. It's only yeah. 100 degrees here in Florida. We got the AC going. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's a full wall slide, right? Yes. But look at this. The walkway is really good. Big walkway. Have plenty of space. You can definitely open the fridge. Walking down here. Let's see. We have a half bath here. There is your master bedroom, which you can use with the bed with a slide in. Wow. I do notice it's two-toned in here. Yes. And Andrea, while we get the side outs out, let's give a big shout out for the sponsor of this episode. Spring is here and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping. But don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip. That's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. And not only that, with our promo code MATT, you get 25% off your purchase when you click our link down in the YouTube description below. So why wait? Upgrade to a comfortable and supportive mattress now from RVMattress.com and start enjoying your camping trip like never before. So visit them today by going to rvmattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. Andrea, is this not a beautiful redesigned motor? It really is. This does not look like a Winnebago from the interior, which I'm very impressed with, because Winnebago's in years past had definitely had a certain look. All of them kind of look the same. This one looks completely different and I'm loving it. We're gonna get started up here first, Andrea. First and foremost, I'm sitting in the driver's seat. Show show the embroidery right there in the passenger oh, yeah. seat. 1992 to 2022, 30 year anniversary. I got my uh, mirrors right here, cup holder. Here's where I control my lights. Very nice steering wheel, Andrea. 7.3 liter V8. Again, I feel like a commander. Right there, we have our Sony screen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I'm able to see my left side and right side. Here's where I can control my auto leveling and I got cup holders right here. Andrea, how do you feel? It feels great, honestly. Um, the chair is really comfortable. It does have a footrest. Okay. You swivel it. Um, and look, I have a little workstation. Okay. That's nice. A cup holder here. And yeah, both these seats do swivel. There is a pedestal table that would go there. Yes. Oh and then look, goodness. there's something like right there on your seat that says like resistance or whatever. I bet you that's the, like the lumbar support or something. Oh no. Oh, it's the tilt back? I don't know what it's doing. I bet you, I bet you that's lumbar support. Huh. 
Okay. But look, look at this. What's going on up there? Isn't that cute? Yes. It's like, oh, is it's it like, like a little a map? map. Yeah. That's adorable. And you got the little motor home right there. Very cool. That is really cute. Yes, ma'am. I do see speakers here, and it does have storage over there as well. Yes, again with the Winnebago. Very nice. Really cute. Look at that. That's adorable. Wow. Yeah, Winnebago always does their little touches of their logos, which me being a logo man myself, I do appreciate. We do have a bunker in the cab. I believe I can control it from right here. Very nice. Pretty fast and very quiet. Yes, do you see a weight rating? Uh, I don't see one, but looking at it, I would assume 500 pounds, you yeah. guys, but just, you know, recheck always, that. Always, yeah, always find out before you throw up a ton of people up there. There is a ladder that goes there, and it's very quiet, that yes. bunk. And Winnebago, if you want to come back here, this Winnebago's control panel, which I think is one of the best. Now, the technology doesn't look that good, but it's very easy to use, touch receptive, you know, I understand what I have to do for the slide outs out, you know, ignition switch on, you know, just very easy to use. You can see your tank levels and everything. You mean you don't need a book to uh, work it? You don't, you don't <laughs> need to be a rocket scientist to own a Winnebago. Right over here, Andre, is the dinette area. Uh, we have very beautiful cabinetry. Look, it's like a white wood grain look. Yes, it has LED lights above that. I like that as well. Yes, and then look at the, um, pewter handles or whatever is that the right word pewter uh i think so okay and, and they and they feel you know the one thing about winnebago is you can hear and feel the quality yes. in their cabinets these are definitely not cheap handles no you got uh daytime shades and privacy well the oh yeah and privacy shades and then we don't have balances but we have this thing here approved Oh, I don't know what they're called, but Andrea likes them. They're very cute. What are they? Uh, they're like little curtains. I don't know. Yeah, but they don't move or slide. They're just the De decoration. Hey, it is what it is. Speaking of decoration, Andrea, um, what do you think of the wall board? Okay, I don't like the wall paper. If that's it's what you're not. Asking. It's not wallpaper. So what is um, it? Well, we had one of these come in, and I did like a quick video a couple months ago. But by the time we were ready to film it, it was already sold. And I was calling it wallpaper. It's not wallpaper, it's just the wall. Hmm. Yeah, not a fan. <laughs> I don't know, all I know Winnebago called me and they're all like, hey, it's not wallpaper. And I'm like, well, I don't know what it is. I'm not a huge fan either. Here's what I will say. It doesn't look as bad as what I remember because I thought it was on that wall as well. So to each their own. The dinette right here, Andre, it does drop down to make a bed. You got cup holders there. Not only that. Their light is interesting right here. Oh, it's Art Deco. Yeah, it's very like... Um, Art Deco. Uh, industrial. I can, yes, industrial. Yes. You know how I knew that? How? Because I'm an art... I'm, I'm an art savant. Oh, wow. wow. I know home interior and decor. Sure you do. Nice storage underneath the table right here. And Matt, we forgot that over there. Above What's the that? Door. Oh. oh, I didn't forget. I was just showing it later. Right there, we got power and everything. And then let's see if there's storage underneath the dinette. Uh, sure does look like it. Oh, gotta go through a lot though. Yep, it's a big old pain in the butt. No piano hinge. Uh, it is what it is. But nice custom cushions from Winnebago. I mean, they makes it so it fits perfectly. Right over here, you got a little satellite receiver right there. Little key ring right here from Winnebago. Privacy screen over the door right here. You'd be surprised how often you don't get something yes. like that. Yes. And then, what's that? Is that for shoes? That's storage for the kitchen. Andrea, show oh, us no, this no, kitchen. No. This is uh, your fuse box. And okay. Stuff. We'll continue on. Oh, okay. I do like this cabinetry. Look, very pretty frosted look. You got a shelf in there. I'm glad there's a window that brings light in here. We've got, I don't know, solid surface countertop? Yes. Very pretty. I love this humongous oh, sink. Oh, wow. I that. thought it was a split sink. That's nice. Yes. You've got your uh, extension, and they even gave you this. You can soak your dishes. Wow. And then underneath, wow, look Holy at that. Holy smokes, that's a lot of storage. Yeah, that's awesome. 
All right, we've got the High Point Convection Microwave. Very nice. Cute backsplash. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got- Looks like whale's tails. <laughs> it does. We've got the one burner induction cooktop and the one uh, burner propane cooktop. Okay. So two of them though. And then here we've got a nice big drawer. Wow. And then we've got one. Oh, I was seeing if it was soft close, but I don't think so. Two and three. Yeah, and it might not be soft close, Andre, but you can definitely tell that it's nice quality. Oh yeah, you can hear it too. Yes. We've got the Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Wow. Nice size there. And yes. then I think that might be the pantry over here. Yes, ma'am. Oh look. They With got your little their, Winnebago cubbies. Their little bins. They're so yeah. cute. That's good pantry space. It sure is. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 291395 is $261,877, Andrea. MSRP. Now, this one's not on our website yet, okay? So, we have one in Grand Rapids, Michigan, that's 268000 so a little bit more than this one, 25% off to 201995 Now we have two more, one in Salt Lake City and one in Richmond, Virginia, that are 259902 So about two grand less than this one, but those are 31% off to a sale price of 179995 All fantastic prices. So what I'm trying to say is this one's gonna fall in between 179 and 201. Where exactly it lands, I'm not sure. But here's what I do know, Andrea. It doesn't matter if you want the one in Richmond, Utah, Michigan, or down here in Ocala, Florida. Yeah, they all might have different MSRPs, but you know what they all do have in common? We at General RV is gonna get you guys the best price in America. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash matscash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or you can call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me and a member of my team. We'll get back to you and they're gonna get you the absolute best price in America. What say you, Andrea? I'm just um, looking at the floor. I love the floor, sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Everything about this motorhome is kicking butt and taking names. Look at this awesome four-seater sofa right here. Let me sit down. Okay, electric recliner right here. Very, very nice. Since we do got it plugged in, you know it's working. We got eight um, heated seats, uh, massage seats and everything. Very, very nice. Oh, yes, wow. it does this. Love this. That USB cup holders here. This is so nice. I don't think these seats recline. I'm not feeling they anything. They don't look like they do. Love that, Andrea. They look really comfortable. Yes, and we are looking directly across at the TV. But first, we got more storage to show you. One, two, and three. Very nice storage. Yes, ma'am. And then directly across. Look at this little accent here. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, it's just slide. giving it character. You yes. know what I'm saying? And then across is the entertainment center. Again, here's your awesome touch panel. You got a little bit more storage there. Television, a little more storage, and a fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace, Andre, it does produce heat from electricity. Now, coming on into the half bath. Even the handles are cute. Oh. I mean, I'm not oh, telling you. it's a little you. tight in here. Yeah, it's always a little tight in these half baths, of course, Lynn. Andrea, I could pass, I'm not passing it. This is not a prime pooping position. It's just definitely very tight. This sink's just a little big. This wall right here is just jacking me up a little bit. It is porcelain toilet and it really isn't like the worst thing in the world. So it, it's it's fine that it's the half bath. What do you think about this basket woven backsplash? I love it. Yes. It's cute. Man, what a bagos interior game. Right. Has stepped it up to the next level. We got the chair rail look or whatever. Over here, Andrea. Nice pocket door on the bedroom there. Is this a king size bed? It is. King size bed. Ouch. Very nice headboard right there. 
power on that side, power on that side, and... Wow, okay, I see what they did, that's nice. Very big storage above there. So, I do see something interesting over here. I don't know what it is. Is that supposed to be like a step up? What's Look at that? that, see that? So that went down, that was down and I just pulled it up? What is that supposed to be? Maybe for like a CPAP machine. Oh. Yep, okay. yep. Okay. Definitely not a step up. I can promise you that. All right, we got the first wardrobe right here. Huge wardrobe. Six drawers underneath, good sized drawers. Yes. Storage under the Very tree. nice. Insignia. And then we've got... Hey! Ooh. We got a combo washer and dryer here. Oh, wow. I was wondering if they were going to put one in. Ah, very smart. I love oh, this. so it's only four drawers. Right, but I love how they did it like this because uh, it's going to be hard to access the storage with that right there. Very right, nice. That was smart. And then here on the pocket door to the bathroom, you got a mirror. And it looks like no little, storage, yeah, but that's where they dog. got the ladder. Good place for it. Yes, ma'am. All right. Wow. Okay, look at this. Okay, that's that's not too bad. I mean, that's still kind of a big step up. Definitely not a big step up Look in at Australia. This, shower. this is a huge shower. This is wow. what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Look, look at me. Look, you see my elbows touching? I think touching? you can do the macarena in there. <laughs> this is a very nice yes, shower. Yes, it's nice to see wow. that. Wow. Wow. Coming on out. Show us what we got. Okay, so over here, I like that you know you have the window, you got a towel rack, you've got some more storage with an adjustable shelf. Yes. And then over here, we've got a drawer. Okay. Some more storage. Yes, ma'am. And underneath the sink, we've got. Oh. Come on. I don't think it opens. Okay. Okay. Uh, storage there, and I love these rectangular sinks. I just think they're so cute. Lots of countertops. Yes. There. And then. Oh. We got liquefied. I didn't even see that there. The best RV toilet treatment. Guys, it's camping season. Go to primepoopposition.com. Yes. Pick it up on Amazon right now. Andrea, it gets delivered to your house in a day or two. In a day or two. Forsten. Dang. It's still tight, huh? It's still tight. Like, I want to give it to them so bad because they definitely earned it on this motorhome, but I can't. Andrea, this is also not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. But again, truthfully, I mean, it's really not a big deal whatsoever, and I'm still good. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. Okay, first one's outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me, it's a high-end motorhome. This expensive Class A gas motorhome. I want the 50 amp power cord reel. You know what I'm saying? Other brands are doing it at this level. This isn't like a mid tier or an entry level. It's high end. I, I expected to have the 50 amp power cord reel. And especially on a motorhome like this, that's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Okay, so my, my dislike is very little, but I have to say it because I'm an animal lover and I have animals. Okay. Luxury, you know, high tier motorhome. Oh. It has vents in the floors and they're so noticeable. Like, got right it. There, yeah, know? right there. Yeah. Yep. It is what it is. Now, here's what a good salesperson would say that's so you can heat up your feet when the seats are swiveled. <laughs> but, you know, you know, I, right. I, I totally get what Andrea is saying. That's just like number two. And then, Andrea, just like number three, I gotta tell you, there's not. I have three. a dislike. Good. Give us just like number three because I'm gonna be honest with you. There's not very many things I don't like about this motorhome. There's home. really not, okay? But I will say, I am not a fan of the one burner reduction and the one burner propane. For me, I would rather have more than two to cook on. That's just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. It but here's like at least three. Here's what I will say. Give us, give me induction or give me propane, not the whole halves and halves. Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. And again, guys, make sure you guys comment down below. Let us know three things you like about this RV and three things you don't like about this RV. We love hearing and reading everybody's feedback as well. Also, we're doing something new. If you comment the night that this is published, we reply to every comment that you guys are commenting. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but only the first night. So make sure you set your bell notification. Andrea, 
that's three things we love about this motorhome or dislike. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And guess what? My first one's actually on the outside. Andrea, like number one, I gotta say, we don't make this likes very often. This is a wet bay. This is what it is. This is what it looks like. This is what I want to see. Potable water behind lock and key so people don't poison you. Water filtration system, dump everything right here. This is what I want to see in a wet bay. That is like number one. Great, that is number one. Andrea, what's like number two? Like number two, I love what they've done with their new interior. Yes. Their colors, their two-tone, their Int floors. Interior, exterior. Their cabinets. Their handles. Yes. Their sink faucets. Yes, super cute. Guys. Good job, Winnebago. Winnebago has been notorious. Watch my previous videos, especially that 2020 year, you know, when a Winnebago intent looked like- An adventurer. Uh, adventurer looked like a Sun Nova, which is a Vista. The mini like, Winnies would look the same. The mini the Winnies look the same. End, they, all look, they, they all look the same. They all have that DIY look, which I hated. This, I love. Winnebago, call me. You did a fantastic job. You don't need to call me, but you, you know what I'm saying. Andrea, that's like number two. Now it's time for like number three. And I'm having a hard time figuring out what I want like number three to be. I really, can I go? Yeah, finish it up. I really like this sofa. I was gonna go there. I love the whole entertainment, like even though it's not entertainment, but it kind of is entertainment seating because you have so many seats. Ha have a seat. And this is, this would be perfect for, you know, if we had this because of Yuna. Yes. You sit up here or she could be over there. I can still have this down. Yes. Just, and, and it actually is really it super is. You know, Winnebago does a lot of their own building of their own furniture and cabinetry. And you can definitely tell this thing is built phenomenally. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in this unit, please contact us. We're with General RV. We sell these nationwide and we'll be able to help you guys get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what say you? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Please do. Winnebago, they do read the comments, you guys, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.